What is up you guys, uh, this is Jed for another video, second video of 11 Scroll Unscripted. Um, so I wanted to actually start off this video talking about my first video. So I mentioned earlier about the topic of starting and wanting to get over this procrastination issue of not trying to even upload even one video. And um, what's funny is because while I was editing the video, I realized that there was an issue of my microphone. Um, it didn't, the app that I'm using on my computer, the program didn't select my uh, Blue Yeti microphone. It ended up accidentally or by default accidentally used my headsets microphone. So the volume isn't as top quality as I would want it to be, but you know what? I'm just gonna keep it. Um, I can redo it, I can, but you know what, I told myself, hey, um, I, I liked what I said and I don't want to take it back and I thought it was a really good moment to just, you know, how I covered all those topics it, it, and it definitely showed that it was flawed and you know what, I was, because it was flawed, I was down with it and I'm down to keep moving forward with it. So yeah, I just want to mention that I acknowledge that um, there might have been a bit of a technical issue of the volume quality, but hopefully the the topics that I covered and my perspective on each topic that was covered on that video, you appreciated. And now moving forward, um, the main topic I actually wanted to talk about in this video is about YouTube uh, content getting boring. Um, I feel like there's so much variety right now on YouTube uh, and so many YouTube channels and it's just a lot to the point where I just see myself and maybe you guys might be able to relate to this but I see myself when I check out YouTube I scroll for like a good five ten minutes and and they're great you know the algorithm it does its best in providing videos of the last related topic of a video that you recently watched which is good because then it, it wants you to keep watching videos and find other videos of of certain topics that you're most likely are going to engage in um watch time maybe co comment, like the video, etc. But I don't know, man. It's just, it feels like there is so much variety. It's almost like Netflix, where Netflix also has a lot of variety. And to the point where you're just scrolling and scrolling and you're trying to find, what am I going to watch? And, but that's the thing. That's the thing about variety is that it gives this kind of illusion that there's definitely nothing to watch. It's almost like when you bought a bunch of groceries, you bought cereal, milk, uh, ramen noodles, chicken, steak, and salmon, and then you get all this variety. And these are you know foods that you didn't randomly select. These are actual foods that you wanted to eat, intended to eat, but then there's all of it in your refrigerator, in your freezer, and you just look at it and you're like, you know what, I'm gonna eat something else. I wanna eat Wingstop. And it's like, well, you already have chicken <laughs> chicken at, at the fridge. And so the fact that there's a variety is definitely a good thing because, and this is my um, uh, theory as to why there's so many millennials and Gen Z um adults or whatever i don't know what the category is but gen z and millennials why they're not uh, why they're just leaving the um the employment world <laughs> the um the workforce it's the reason why i feel like there is a big um great resignation it's more than just a burnout they can now have options to produce their own stream of income and definitely YouTube is has to be 
one of those tools, one of those avenues of how our generation, because I'm definitely a millennial, it's definitely how our generation is establishing their new um, uh, extra source of income, replacing it from their job, and taking the risk of, a, and hopefully it's a smart risk, uh, after establishing themselves on YouTube, they take the plunge and quit, and they go full time. And so it, it's good. It's good that there's a lot of YouTubers out there making a lot of content. So it's not like also each YouTuber is only making like one video a year. It's like they're pumping videos, man. And so they're definitely making that money, whether it be through AdSense or um, what do you call those things? Those marketing links oh my gosh i don't know what do you call those the um not telemarketing it's the um you know what i'm gonna type it i'm gonna type it affiliate links affiliate marketing links yeah there's a lot of opportunity to make money off of that of course you're it's gonna be a struggle at first, but when you establish your audience, you, st you establish your tribe, you know, it, it works out long-term. And so, as a consumer uh, perspective, I'm just given so much to the point where like, what am I gonna watch, you know? And I find myself, maybe you guys do the same thing too, but I find myself making a shitload of playlists and whatever video that I'm thinking of watching uh, later on, but I definitely feel like it's interesting to watch, I'll add it to the playlist. Like I'll make a playlist dedicated to aliens, a playlist dedicated to anime, a dedicated to uh, listening to EDM music, rock music, etc. And so because of all of this variety as a consumer, I'm just collecting my groceries, quote unquote, and I'm organizing it in my fridge, aka my list of my my playlists. And so I guess another thing. So it's it does going back to the top, the idea that YouTube is getting boring. It's just that there's so much variety, it's so much good content to the point you just end up scrolling and adding videos and playlists and then you find that one video that you decide and you're like you know what this is the video that i'm going to watch it's an interesting topic the thumbnail the title got me and boom and then it's either that or i watch something completely mindless um there's been a lot of a trend i don't know if you guys are seeing this but like their um, channel is just uploading full 100% clips of Family Guy episodes. And personally, I just like to watch Family Guy. And I mean, if you watch it on YouTube, I mean, that's pretty much for free. I mean, technically for me, I'm not watching it for free because I actually have, I'm subscribed to the YouTube um, subscription base. And so... I don't know if they still call it YouTube Red now, but yeah, the subscription service where you don't have to watch uh, advertisements on videos. And so, yeah, it's, that's that's where I'm at right now. And um, it's either that and or if it's a show that I recently watched on Netflix and I just finished it, I'd like to YouTube search um, the actors and actresses you know, and see if there's like a, a Talking Dead version, you know, seeing the interviews of that show um, after I finish watching it, completing the series. Um, so yeah, I mean, back in the day, there's this YouTube channel, H3H3, and they re what I really loved about their videos is that they always had this... It was it was funny, you know. The that that's the whole point of their uh, channel. H three H three he he, um, just invert the three to an e. It just means he he, and you know they would basically um, record themselves reacting to other videos on YouTube or some random topics, but mostly YouTube videos. And 
just that alone was was fine you know and then after that it was the shift of of podcasts which are which are cool but i mean they, they tend to be so long and you know if it starts to get boring it starts to get boring you know straight up and so with um i just miss seeing youtubers reacting to really random youtube videos that were worthy enough to be reacted in a comedic funny way and but you know this is a different landscape now i mean yeah I, as i mentioned earlier um podcasts are big um and then there are certain topics that are exploding um there's a channel because after h3h3 um i what i really liked about h3h3 they did an ex a funny exposed video about Ty Lopez, but kind of in a friendly way because they eventually actually met up uh, at Ty Lopez's mansion, and even then that was um, still even though they you know talked things out, there was no beef. Um, they you know they hung out and it was cool. But I love that h3h3 was trying to expose certain things you no know, not out of disrespect to ty lopez or anyone but it's just just uncovering you know some crazy shit and so i ended up uh, finding another youtube channel called coffeezilla and back in the day um, when i saw him he probably had like a hundred thousand views he definitely blew up uh, during the pandemic for sure um, one of my the first videos that i watched from his channel was um, his interviews from dudes that were scammed from a another YouTube channel called Dan Locke. So it was really um, interesting to see that um, you know that shift. Uh, Coffeezilla definitely w became one of the signs, I would say, of another genre that started to blow up, which was exposed channels. Um, you know, exposing um, uh, cons conspiracies, scams, etc., which which usually happens on the YouTube space. It's kind of like what iDubs used to do back in the day, but it's more. Um, it's definitely detailed. They still try to be a little comedic, but very informative at the same time. More, very more informative than comedic. Whereas iDubs, it was just really just extreme everything. But um, but yeah, things are you know they it's you could see that it's changing though the YouTube landscape, and as a consumer, you know yeah I'm a YouTube addict I love watching YouTube channels YouTube videos and you just see things changing, and with change comes with the possibility of just being bored because it's like okay let's use that analogy again that example the groceries you know you're used to buying this certain chicken in a certain brand in a certain way and then that chicken that you buy from sam's club sam's club decides to change it up and now they no longer produce that type of chicken uh in that same brand they 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 serve they sell it in a different packaging way and it's like it's not the same and so i'm still gonna eat the chicken but I'm going to be packing it differently. I'll probably try to cook it the same way, but it's different. And so I don't know what's going to happen with YouTube. I mean, I did recently watch a, a really interesting video, but it was... What's this dude's name? He, he calls himself Moist, <laughs> Moist Critical. And he did a video recently about how there's this Japanese uh, streamer who basically recorded himself, you know, logging himself Nasubi. He was a Japanese um, back in the 90s, a Japanese comedian uh, who was trying to, you know, start his career. He got a opportunity to live stream himself um, in a show. Uh, and he was basically completely naked in his in a, in the in an apartment for like almost a whole year in isolation. It's definitely um, a video to um, to check out. 
uh, that was um, covered, a topic covered by Moist Critical. Can't really... He has a Penguin Z? Penguin Z Zero, yeah. <laughs> Penguins O. <laughs> Yeah, so and he just reached 11, 11 uh, million uh, subscribers, so he's pretty. He, um, you know, I, I didn't find him until maybe a month ago, but apparently he's been on the YouTube game since two thousand six, and so this goes back to the fact that there's just so much variety that sometimes you're just buried with so much content that you you do miss out on on really cool YouTube channels, so. If you're a YouTuber, uh, definitely a small YouTuber as well. You know what? Small, medium, large, I don't care. You know, if you want to self-promote right now, um, definitely feel free in the comment section below. Um, I really want to, you know, use this as another algorithm to discover other YouTube channels. You know, I might check you out, I might not, but... I might, I might check you out, I might not, but at least I know you're out there and definitely it's a someday. Um, and let's let's check out like anime YouTubers. Like I love anime, right? But, and there's a couple of anime YouTubers that I love to watch. One of them is Bob Samurai. And Bob Samurai, he actually, now he's been in the game for quite a long time, but it's just... You see his sub number of subscribers and his views, and it's, damn, he's been in the game for so long, but he he, he deserves at least 100,000 views per video. You know, that's just my opinion. But there's a lot of small channels that are yet to be discovered, whether they've been in the game for such a long time or they just began their journey as a YouTuber. And I hope if you know if the if there are topics that i like to um watch aliens anime um uncovering scams <laughs> um music even um i like new jobbies um lofi type music and so that's where i'm at right now there's so much content to do point where you feel like YouTube is boring but it's just an illusion it's not boring it's just you really as a consumer have to find you <laughs> I gotta find your interesting videos whoever you are youtuber <laughs> so and one thing I did today because I wanted to continue in making content it's actually 10 51 p.m. and um, you know I had this um, grand plan that I was going to uh, work so hard and making more videos uh, during the afternoon but I don't know I just felt tired it's a Sunday I want to relax and I I had to exercise I could see my gut growing you know and I work um, at home so I do have a full-time job and I'm not gonna go too detail about it but I'm very happy that I have that opportunity to do so and that helps me um, you know, on the side, start my YouTube career, whether it be for fun or hopefully I'll make money for, off of this. Uh, that is the plan, respectively speaking. And I was just getting fat. <laughs> I was getting like, my gut is growing. And I've seen YouTubers, their health deteriorate. And, it, and, and it's like, it was obvious that you know that their health if they were to continue living a certain lifestyle that helps create the kind of content that they produce on their youtube channel that yeah it would definitely take a toll on their health and i want to make sure that when even though i make content on a consistent basis i want to make sure that it's it's still not going to ruin my life you know, um, I'm sure it's gonna, I'm definitely gonna be taking a risk emotionally, psychologically, and physically. Um, you know, whether it be uh, getting um, criticism of how I do things to schedule conflicts to the point where I won't have time to exercise. I don't wanna say balance, but 
that is it like i i i'm i'm creating a way as i take action step by step how to um manage putting in work but at the same time putting in time to relax and to not feel guilty about it and so you know i i i took a 30 minute run cooked some chicken had some ice cream just now i just relaxed you know and it was amazing it was great and i will make sure that even though i have a 40 hour work schedule and the fact that i'm gonna be putting a lot of time pumping youtube videos you know writing content you know scripts before i post videos for video essay discussions I want to also have time to just relax and just do my thing and not that's part of my life you know i'm not a robot i mean yeah i want to do youtube as my career but pursuing my career doesn't mean like i'm gonna lose sleep or constantly worry like i'm doing this because i want to live like enjoy my life like i could be doing something else you know <laughs> so that's where i'm at in life and actually one youtube channel and let me try to find it because i forgot the name she's actually an actress from the show the hundred from netflix lindsay morgan she actually took a break stepped out of the acting um her acting career just give herself a break so she walked out of the show um walker uh, exiting the show the walker and um she actually recently did a uh inter a podcast interview uh from this uh, youtube channel called the big silence uh titled called you don't have to suffer for your art with lindsay morgan and she goes through this whole like she shares her experience of you know being an actress and the fact that you know there were certain things that took a toll on her and you know now that she wanted to just take a break relax and breathe and that's who i am like i'm not i'm lazy by default and i don't give a fuck but i still want to put in the work but i don't want the work to work me out you know I'm putting in the work and and what I get out of it is to relax and the enjoyment of the work so yeah those two videos I'll make sure I'll make sure that I'll uh, put a link to them on the description below hopefully I'll remember and if I don't remember then hopefully you guys will remind me in the comments or I'll just post it later I don't know we'll see <laughs> But um, yeah, second video, 11 scroll unscripted. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later. Um, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe and see you soon. Peace.